Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about SEC ruling on Ethereum. So whether they consider Ethereum is a security or not. It turned out that this is a fake news. There's no such a meeting for today, for the SEC meeting to talk about Ethereum. So this thought is originally started from the um, Wall Street Journal. Uh, they published a post on May 1st about the world's second most valuable cryptocurrency under regulatory scrutiny. And at the bottom of the post, uh, there will be a working group of regulators, including senior SEC and CFTC officials, are scheduled to talk about this matter on May 7. So this is not true. This is a fake news. And in the crypto world, we, talk, uh, we call this FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So even a very web, uh, reputable uh, journal can uh, spread all this fun. So nowadays, I don't think you can trust anybody. And then you can see a whole bunch of YouTubers, you know, talk about this uh, Ethereum uh, SEC ruling today and all that. It just, you know, put all the oil into the fire. So it's just spreading all this fun once again. <clears throat> so this article talk about... Um, So, so here's talk about rumor SEC ruling on it's just more of uh, fun. So he talked about, this is a pretty interesting article, and once again, the rumor mill is out of control. The crypto sphere uh, is especially vulnerable to this type of situation with a large percentage of inexperienced investors making up the base. Things become extremely vulnerable to fear, uncertainty, and doubt add in cryptocurrency already high uh, volatility and you have a recipe for a bloodbath this is what happened over the weekend uh, after ethereum go i think it was above 800 bucks uh, over the weekend because of the fund it it goes back down to almost uh, 700 bucks you know is in 24 hours it has a hundred uh, bucks a hundred dollars differences so currently Ethereum is go back up to almost 800 bucks because of the FUD, they have a correction earlier. Now it almost go back up. So even though, you know, of such a good journal, they will spread all this FUD. So you got to be careful out there, like what is true or not. Another article talk about Federal Reserve Bitcoin Futures launch led to December 2017 decline. So the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco released an economic letter May 7 suggesting that uh, Bitcoin decline follow its 20,000 peak was the result of the launch of Bitcoin futures trading. The Federal Reserve letter say the rapid run-up and subsequent fall in the price after the introduction of future does not appear to be coincidence or it, and it is consistent with trading behavior that typically accompany uh, the introductions of future market for an asset. The highest uh, Bitcoin price uh, coincide with the introduction of Bitcoin futures by Chicago Mercantile Exchange in mid-December and a week earlier, uh, the Chicago Bot Options Exchange also launched Bitcoin futures. According to the latter, optimistic investor who bet the price was going to rise were the only driver of Bitcoin surge. Constant price growth attract more uh, optimists, who in turn increased the demand even more. Pessimists had no available instrument to short Bitcoin and to profit from betting on the price decline until the Bitcoin futures were introduced. So this uh, new investment opportunity caused a fall in demand and in the day ahead Bitcoin market and subsequently sent the price down. So the launch of the Bitcoin future allowed the pessimists to enter the market, contribute the reversal of the Bitcoin price dynamics. This uh, letter suggests that the Bitcoin price didn't collapse overnight after the futures launch by CBOE and CME due to relatively low trading volume of Bitcoin uh, in the future market. So this is uh, pretty interesting. So what do you think about this Bitcoin futures uh, uh, for the decline of the price of the Bitcoin in 2017? And Charlie Munger 
So he is the right hand man of uh, Warren Buffer. He talked about uh, <laughs> compare crypto to organ trading. Oh my God. So Charlie Munger, uh, in the, during an interview on uh, in Yahoo Finance, he replied that uh, talk about the crypto phenomena. He's talking uh, he, the computer science behind Bitcoin is a great triumph of the human mind. That's why um, what cat captivate all these people. They have created a product that hard to create more, but of not impossible. But I see an artificial speculative medium. I regard the whole business as antisocial, stupid, and immoral. Really, antisocial, stupid, and immoral for cryptocurrency uh, is a little bit. Uh, is <laughs> so. What do you think about this? <laughs> Please comment below. And also, when uh, they asked him about what do you mean by immoral, and then she, he's saying that suppose you make a lot of money by trading freshly harvested baby brains. Would you do it or would you say that's immoral? You wouldn't trade them, would, would you? It's too awful uh, a concept. Well, to me, Bitcoin is almost as bad. So he compared Bitcoin as trading ha uh, freshly harvest baby brain. And he also emphasized cryptocurrency do not serve any desirable social purpose. And that the usefulness of payment system is under, uh, undermined by their high volatility and inefficiency as well. So he regards the whole thing as a combination of dementia and immorality. I think the people pushing it are a disgrace. There ought to be some things that are believe you that you just don't do it, and this is the one. And also, uh, Warren Buffett talk about Bitcoin is probably red, uh, red poisons a square. Oh my. So Bill Gates, now I'll talk about Bill Gates. So Bill Gates, uh, in an interview in CNBC, he talked about Bitcoin was a greater, greater food investment and he would short it. So he would short Bitcoin if he could. Well, right now you have Bitcoin future. You can, uh, in, you know, in CME, you can short all day long, right? So I agree, I would short it if there was an easy way to do it. Well, I mean, you have so much money, you can short it anything you want. And this is so ironic. Uh, Microsoft also, uh, you know, also part of the uh, blockchain development as well. And so I, I don't know what to say, you know, just like, just like Jamie Dimon uh, talk about you know, Bitcoin is a fraud, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, behind the scene, they are actually buying Bitcoin and they are also invest a lot of money in blockchain technology. So the reason why they, you know, they orchestra all this flood. So on last week, they do the flood for the Ethereum, right? Because of the SEC and all that. And then uh, some prominent uh, business figure come in, Charles Munger and also... Warren Buffett talk about Bitcoin, you know, so badly. And then Bill Gates come along today, talk about that as well. So they all bashing about Bitcoin. And so the reason why a lot of institutions bashing the Bitcoin is, and cryptocurrency is because it threatened the establishment, the status quo. And because it will not only disrupt the entire banking industry, but also other aspects of conducting business. At the end of the day, it just uh, undermines their bottom line. So that's why they are, so they are concerned and, you know, they don't want this to happen. So they just want to slow down the uh, progress of the cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. So that's why they're bashing it. So all this are orchestra and they to want to bring down the price of the cryptocurrency. So... At the end of the day, so you have to ask yourself why you buy into crypto and why you buy Bitcoin. Is that because you just want to make a quick money or is it because there's other fundamental reason um, that you support this blockchain technology? Because blockchain technology, the ultimate goal is decentralize the power back to the people and from the institution control. And remember during the financial crisis, um, taxpayer, we the taxpayer bail out the big banks 
and at the end nobody go to jail right <laughs> there's no nobody go to jail because of the financial collapse and this is an alternative to fiat currency so I think you have got to think deeper the reason behind why you get into crypto so if you just come here to make a big uh, you know uh, just quick money I think all this fun it will shake you out and then you will have weak hands you're going to sell everything right so you you got to ask yourself why you get into crypto this is the fundamental uh, questions that you have to ask yourself so also consensus meeting is coming up uh, next monday uh, there's a whole bunch of sponsor sonom um art oh even fusion is there Neem, Quantum, VeChain, oh, they, those, those are uh, more big sponsor. Those are Pila, even Pila Project. So you can uh, go and take a look, and I'm going to talk about this as well uh, in my next video. Oh, Killing is there too. This PwC is there. So a lot of accounting uh, Deloitte is there too. So there's a lot of accounting firm in there as well. So. So last year, after the consensus meeting, the cryptocurrency like taking off. So this meeting is not for a regular guy, uh, regular Joe Doe to go there. This is a institution like people with big money to go to those meetings. So after the meeting, they probably will um, get into some of the investment in there. So, okay, let me know what you think about this um, FUD. From the Ethereum, also Charlie Munger. So, what do you think about Charlie Munger? Talk about compared to this crypto as uh, organ trading and also Bill Gates, he will short Bitcoin and all that. Hey, please comment below. What do you think about this? Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to subscribe so you can. Stay up to date with the upcoming ICO hard fall and airdrop. Be sure to subscribe. Also share with your friend. I'm not a financial advisor. Please use the due diligence if you invest your money. Investing in ICO has inherent risk. Please use the due diligence. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe. Peace.